Hello everyone, I'm Jared from LG Studios and today I'm gonna show you how to create a basic flash game using Adobe Flash CS5. Okay, I've already done this tutorial and uh, I pretty fucked, uh, pretty much fucked up in the last minute, so I'm kind of angry. Uh, but let's begin. So, we, in order to create our game, we're gonna need Action 2.0. Okay, so now. What we're gonna need, we're gonna need, uh, I think, five layers. The first one will be called player, so it's gonna be our, um, uh, it's gonna be the script, uh, the script, um, our player, our character. Uh, okay, so let's make a, a, a typical stick figure. I'm not gonna do anything extraordinary right now because I just want to. I just want to show you the way and the codes we're gonna use. Okay, so now we have our character. Yeah, make a box using the selection tool. Uh, right, that like that. Right click inside him, convert to symbol, name name him player. The, uh, make sure it's moving quick, and the registration key must be at the bottom. Right, that like that. Okay, now. Uh, Double click, double left click inside him. Now we are inside our player. We're gonna make uh, two more keyframes. So double click, double press F6 to make keyframes. So what we're gonna do in the first frame, we're gonna make ex uh, again. Uh, we're gonna use again the selection tool around him. Uh, right click, convert to symbol, name it player underscore walking. The registration key must be at the bottom again. And now go inside that player underscore walking. So we're inside the the walking animation of our of our player, if you understand what I mean. Now <clears throat> we're gonna make uh, we're gonna keep the first frame. Make a new keyframe. Use the on and skin tool. Ra erase his legs. He his whole body to make the animation. So uh, I'm gonna make it like that. Yeah, I think it looks decent. Uh, F6 erase his body again. Okay. Make it bigger, like that. F6, erase everything once again. Like that. No, that's just the mods, wait a second. Uh, okay, that is too much as, as well, but it looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Now take the the three frames, uh, all the frames except the except from the first one. Uh, copy frames, copy them and paste them. Now take the three last ones, the ones that we pasted, and uh, reverse them. So now the animation looks a uh, pretty slow. Thing. Yeah, that's the right word, I think. Now, press under to with the animation. It looks fine for a tutorial. Again, I'm saying I'm not trying to do it perfect. I'm just gonna show you the way. Now, let's go to the uh, second keyframe at our player, not at our player underscore walking. Uh, the second keyframe will be our uh, jumping animation. But I'm not gonna make an animation actually, it's, it's gonna be a, draw, a row image of him jumping, something like jumping. Erase his body again. Just like that. Uh, let's make his body first. Wait a second. 
yeah, like that. And the third frame uh, is gonna be the static animation. I'm not gonna do any animation again because it's pretty <coughs> pretty basic tutorial. So now we're ready. We're good to go. Get out of player. Put him outside. Now we're gonna need our ground. Create a new layer. Name it ground. Oh, uh, first go at the player uh, the player again and give him an instance name layer. Don't forget that it's uh, extremely important. Uh, go at the ground again. Make uh, I'm gonna make a real basic background like uh, like some boxes actually. Do that. That. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that, I like that. It looks fine, I guess. Uh, convert them to symbol. Name them ground. Uh, registration key must be at uh, the center. Now, uh, the ground is ready, yeah. Now we're gonna need a third layer. It's gonna be our VCAM. What is VCAM? VCAM is actually a camera that follows the player wherever he goes. Uh, it's gonna, so it's gonna be like a camera if you go, <coughs> if you make a big map, uh, the camera will follow the player wherever he goes. Okay. So in order to do that, let's make a box. But first, you may do both of them white, and the box must be the size of the screen of this uh, white box. So yeah, like that. Put this uh, layer at the bottom, and now uh, right click at the layer, so it's gonna choose everything. Okay, uh, convert it to symbol, name it VCAM. Uh, we don't really care about the registration game, I'm just gonna let it at the middle. Give it an instance name, it's gonna be VCAM. And don't forget to give uh, at the, the, the ground an instance name because I forgot it. Name it ground. Okay, so we're gonna need a fourth layer. Na uh, we're gonna name it restart. Restart box. So what is restart box? Uh, <coughs> if the if the character uh, falls down. Uh, he must restart at the same uh, place he was before. So I'm gonna make. Uh, oh no, it's not a box. I don't remember the word. Uh, something like that. You can see. Um, uh, yeah, right click at here. Convert it to symbol. Name it. Um, restart box. Draw C. Give it an instance name, same one. Okay, so we have our four uh, important layers. We're gonna create a new one, but it's not important, I'm gonna tell you. Now we have everything we need, but we haven't added any action, so nothing happens if we try to play the game. It's not a game, actually. So, first we're gonna add the, the um, access to the player, so if we press the arrow keys, he will be able to move around and jump. So, let's use this layer. I uh, have already typed them at the notepad because, yeah, I don't think you would like to sit there and just watch me typing. Yeah, I think it's boring. I'm gonna add them to the description, yes, so you don't really have to type them. Now, I have copied them. Yeah. Right-click at the player. Out actions, I just paste them. Uh, okay, we're, well, we're good. Uh, ground doesn't need any actions, uh, just to let you know. But the VCAM and the restart box do. Okay, so at the VCAM, uh, you click inside it, go to the first frame, at the first one. Let me. Copy the VCAM frame uh, actions. Copy. The first one, go at actions, paste them, check them, okay. Get out, go at the VCAM 
uh, itself and it's just a little basic script Excuse me. So, you already got it with you, never mind. Yeah, okay. Uh, go at actions and just paste them again. It's fine. And now, the, the last uh, action we have to add is about the, the reset box. Uh, let me copy them again. Just like that. Open, go at actions, paste them, and uh, one thing I must tell you is that these numbers contain, uh, what are these numbers? It's uh, where you want your player to spawn, for example, if you got the player and press control T, you can go at info, you can see exactly uh, his exact point, uh, position. I think the best one is here, so control T. And go at info, and I must remember these numbers. I'm just gonna copy the first one. This uh, 272, 272, 272. Just gonna paste this. 272. Okay, we're fine. So now every time he falls. Uh, he will be. He will restart here exactly here. Um, now our game is ready, and we can try it. But first, I think I'm gonna make a really basic background thingy. Make a new layer, which is gonna be um, at the bottom. No, it's not the bottom. It's gonna be higher than the Vicom, but lower than the other layers. Name it BG for background. Uh, let's make something like a sky. I don't even know. Yeah, something like that. Um, white thingies. I don't know, man. Other things. Maybe uh, some, some essence. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Um, yeah, we're ready. You, you're not gonna add anything at the background, any action or something. It, it just doesn't need anything. So, in order to test your game, just press Control and uh, Control and and we'll make a SWF file and you're gonna play. So, as you can see, every time I press the left and and right arrow keys, he moves and he the animation is being played. That, okay, it does look very nice at this point because uh, the animation is bad. But okay, if you jump, you do this little thingy like jumping. If you fall down, you can see that uh, he restarts. So, uh, and as you can see, the camera follows the player wherever he goes, as I told you. See, I do like. Oh, actually, one little thing uh, you must. Uh, take the restart box and actually put it down uh, lower than the background so now uh, you will not see it and I don't think it's fine to see it, it it's better now okay uh, that was it guys uh, this, uh, this was uh, this been a tutorial how to create a basic game using Adobe Flash 5 I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something from it uh, please rate, uh, comment, subscribe, and do whatever you want. I'm Jersey. Uh, Alec, I'm